Hey guys, it's Jen. I figured that while I was filming and everything set up, I would do a Hera sunscreen review video because um, it's something that I really, really enjoy. It's a product that I feel like I'd really like to share with you guys. Sunscreen to me is one of the most important steps of the whole skincare routine. No matter how much moisturizer and face masks, etc., that you do, the worst thing you can do is get to the point where you've already damaged your skin from the sun, from exposure to UV rays, and you're in a place where you now have to fix it all up. I'm actually a bit like that because I actually do have some sunspots on my chest area from my high school days when I didn't wear sunscreen and I would always just be sunbaking and going to the beach and um, lying down in front of the sun every day with my friends trying to get tanned and my, I didn't realize that my skin was so sensitive actually to the sun and my skin has developed a lot of sunspots all over my chest. Not only that, but I do have a lot of moles on my face. It's something that Korean people always ask me, how come I haven't got removed already? Because to Koreans, mole removal is like the most basic thing that you should do. I'm just taking care of my skin now by applying sunscreen every single day underneath my moisturizer. And it's really important for me because I drive a lot and if you drive a lot, the sun's rays are always bouncing off inside of the car and you're always exposed to the sun. So it's really important for those of you that drive a lot as well. Um, if you are in the car, you might think that you're sheltered, but UV rays are not just the sun's rays of light, but they are invisible rays that actually do reflect off surfaces of the car. They're the rays that actually bring wrinkles and moles and pigmentation, sunspots, age, age spots. Um, it takes away the elasticity and moisture from your skin, therefore your skin ages quickly. There's a lot of things that the sun does to damage your skin. So the most important step of skincare and taking care of your skin is putting on sunscreen. So I was on a quest to find the best sunscreen that works really well, not only with my skin type but with my makeup because the last thing that I want is really greasy white sunscreen that you wear outside when you go play sports or to the beach. You know, I want to take photos without having like a white cast all over my face. So the reason why I really, really recommend the Hera range is because they are formulated for the really critical um, and really demanding Korean market where the customers have a lot of power. And if they don't like it, then they just don't buy it. So it's been really developed and they are really worth the money that you pay for it. Okay, firstly, um, is the Hera Sunmate Daily SPF 35. This one is made to be a makeup base and SPF 35 is quite high. It's really, really high for a daily moisturizing sunscreen, which is really good. It's not oily. It's very light. It smells nice. It doesn't interfere with your makeup. It doesn't bring too much oil onto your skin and it's formulated to work with makeup. So those of you who are women who wear foundation, it doesn't add like a, a layer of grease or oil or anything onto the skin. So I'll show you guys how this sunscreen actually applies. It's a cream orangey color and it's water-based so it really rubs into your skin really well. It's like a gel moisturizer. It moisturizes your skin whilst it prepares it for um, the foundation on top. You can see the slight sheen and it's not oil. It's just like a moisturizer. It feels like your skin is moisturized. It smells nice as well. This is their range for daily makeup. This one is targeted for women as well. It's the Sunmate Leopards for sport and it's waterproof and it's SPF 50. Okay, so it's formulated for those of you who go outdoor or do recreational activities. Um, this is waterproof and sweat proof and it's also dermatologist tested. So what's great about Hera's products is that they don't break you out. Packaging of this has improved, the quality has improved since it's first come out. So they've continually tried to develop them. Okay, I don't actually have this product, but the, there's a Hera Air Mate sunscreen version, which is a powder sunscreen. So. It's like in the form of makeup, but it's like a sunscreen. So it's really actually a very innovative product. Anyway, so be aware that there are actually other types in this line, but this is what I use every single day. So there is also a men's line, and this is the Hera Home in Sun Cover Leopards. 
So this is for Sport SPF 50 also, um, UVA and UVB rays as with all of them. Okay, so it basically says that it goes on really easy, easily and it's not greasy or heavy at all. And my husband uses this and he really likes it. What I really like about Korean products is that they smell so nice. This one kind of smells like the Chanel Allure Homme. It goes on like this, but it smells different and the color is white. Okay, so just to compare it, this is something that I bought the other day from my Woolworths. And it's the Invisible Zinc Environmental Skin Protector in SPF 30 UVA UVB. I originally was really impressed with this because it's not only a sunscreen but it's also a moisturizer. But after a few times of trying it, it did feel a bit too oily. This is actually suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. So if you do want to try something in Australia, this is not a bad product. And it goes in like, it's a water-based texture. And it's very moisturizing. Um, there is no white feel to it. The only problem about this is that for me, it does make my skin a bit oily during the day, especially my T-zone area, whereas this doesn't at all. But if you have dry skin, I do think that this would be very recommendable for you. It has won the award in Australia for best sunscreen. You can buy them at most anywhere, so give it a go if you would like it. I also wanted to review the Clinique Super City Block in SPF 40 because this is something that I actually used for around a year before going on to Hera. I don't have really many good things to say about this product. Okay, so it says that it's oil free. It's a daily protector, but I feel like it's such a lie because okay, it's like a grayish brown color. So when you blend it in, not only does it tint your skin into a sort of grey brown, but it's very oily. It's just like grease. I just don't understand how it says that it's oil free. <laughs> but if you guys are thinking of Clinique, I suggest not to go for this if you want something that's not oily. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys how the Hera sunscreen applies. And for those of you that can access it through possibly a Korean friend, who can order it from a Korean website for you. Just know that Hera is quite famous for their sunscreens, especially in Korea where people are very picky about their products. So it's got to be very good. I really, really recommend it. If you guys are going to Korea, you have to get your hands on their Hera's line. And I would like to try their Air, Air Mate version because it sounds like a very interesting product. So I hope you guys found that informative and helpful and remember to always stay positive and always be thinking about the things that you are grateful for and the blessings that you have. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! At most anywhere and it... if you have any Koreans around you, um, 